Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate design strips for a complex slab example in RAM concept. In this particular video, we're going to be discussing the span segment widths and strip widths, and we will show you how to modify those if needed. So let me go ahead and divert your attention to the RAM concept model. And specifically, I'm going to take a look at this latitude design spans plan, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the eastern portion of the structure. The two spans I'm specifically interested in are these two. Here I can see their column strips and I can also see their middle strip areas. Now RAM concept often generates span segment widths and strips that require some modification. This tendency becomes more apparent once you've tried the span segment generation a few times. Now you should always examine the strip widths to determine that they are to your satisfaction. So let's go ahead and show you how to view your strips and why we might need to modify them in this particular scenario. So on this plan, let's go ahead and turn on our cross sections. To do that, we can go to the standard toolbar, click on the visible objects icon, and we can ask the program to show our cross sections. Let's go ahead and click OK. Here we'll be able to see all the cross sections that are generated here, and in this particular area is where I'm looking at. In addition, I should also be able to see this information on the perspective plans. And here is that particular area that I am taking a look at. Now what I'm noticing is that the middle strips in this area are extending too far, and I would recommend adding some manual strip boundaries for that. When your middle strip is narrower, the minimum reinforcement check would be based on a smaller concrete area and it would generate a better design. Now this type of workflow might be more critical for a post-tension slab system versus a traditionally reinforced concrete slab system, but I would still recommend doing this workflow anytime you have this type of scenario. So let's go ahead and show you how to modify those widths. Over in your layer specific toolbar, you're going to notice two different tools. We have a span boundary polyline and we have a column strip boundary polyline. In both these areas, the column strip and of course the edge of your span can be modified using these tools. I'm going to select this first tool. This is our span boundary polyline. Let me go ahead and select that and then I can create a line over here to basically limit the width of that middle strip. I can use any of my snap tools in order to make this process easier. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is click from here and then straight over, right click and then enter. And here I'll be able to see that span segment. And I'm going to repeat that process for this item here as well. You're going to notice that these are going to be displayed as default in a pink color. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like when we regenerate our strips. Here we can see that we have limited the size of this middle strip. Again, those shear calculations will benefit from that. And if we reperformed the calculation, we will see that perspective plan has been updated. So here I can see the cross sections and I can also see that information on the latitude perspective plan. Now at this point, what I'd want to do is kind of review my model to see if that situation exists anywhere else. Um, for that particular scenario where I have a middle strip just extending way too far, um, that should be the only one in the latitude direction. And taking a look at the longitude direction, this one looks fairly good as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. 
Thank you, and see you next time.